It's finals month and this is what I have been working on for the past two weeks. It's not that I have a lot of finals, I only have one finals, but I have six essays to hand in in the span of two weeks. The reason why this video looks and sounds different than usual is because it is 5.30 in the morning. I haven't gone to bed yet and I'm currently contemplating on my life decisions. And the reason why I'm doing this kind of ASMR style is because it would be very rude to wake up people that are still sleeping. Sorry, mom. For the past two weeks, I have been insanely sleep deprived and sleeping at 3 a.m. in the morning. And in this video, I'll be telling you guys why I sleep at 3 a.m. in the morning, how has that improved my productivity and why this might be a terrible idea and you probably shouldn't do it. Also, this video is sponsored by Grammarly. I can't wait to tell you more about them later on in the video, so stay tuned if you're interested. The reason why I write it down on this sticky note right here is because I stick it onto my table and every time I look at it, I begin to panic. And when I actually panic, I would actually do them. Not that I finish them on time, but it would motivate me to finish the things that I need to finish, which is actually much more useful than you might think. Now, I'm someone who used to sleep very early because I have a fixed schedule in high school. Uh, class starts at like 8 a.m. and I have really strict Asian parents. Since I got into university, my sleep schedule has been a lot more flexible since most of my classes are in the afternoon. So my sleep schedule has been pushed further and further back from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. to a point where I don't even know if I should say good morning or good night before I go to bed. But during this period of being insanely sleep deprived, I realized that I'm being a lot more productive at night than I am in the morning. And then I've come to the conclusion that waking up early and being productive has no connection with one another. So if you wake up at 8 a.m., which is a weird flex, and you're not doing anything until like 3, 4 p.m., 9 p.m. rolls by and you're already tired and you need to go to sleep and you've actually wasted half of your day because you're only feeling seemingly productive. For me, from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m., this is when I feel I'm the most productive because there is little to no distractions. Um, everyone's asleep, it's quiet, there's nothing to look outside the window because it's dark, just like my soul. So it is much more easier to focus on my work and I can get things done much more quicker. Also because of the difference in time zones, I can watch James's Pomodoro livestream and study alongside with him. And I find this really, really helpful because I have no friends. I'm someone who prefers to finish my work a day before the deadline so I have time to proofread my essay if it's like a really, really important essay or if I'm actually bothered to, because I can always find the stupid mistakes that I made while writing the essay. But now I saved a lot of time in proofreading because thanks to Grammarly. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that has helped me a lot in my academic writings because I'm someone who's not bothered to read through 50 pages of writing instructions from my own university, which is probably a good idea to go through them if you have one. I'm not even bothered to read my own essay sometimes and I just try to eat the essay out as soon as possible. You can install the Grammarly extension for free across different browsers, which can provide you with basic spelling and grammar suggestions. Or you could upgrade to Grammarly Premium, which is something I would personally choose since it provides vocabulary and clarity suggestions and even has its own plagiarism detector so you can be sure that you won't accidentally reference too much. The feedback is much more sophisticated and in-depth and most of the time better than my professors at university. Academics aside, it has also helped me in replying emails to companies that have kindly reached out to me. Grammarly has given me constructive suggestions to make my emails sound a lot more professional when in reality, this boy has no idea what he's writing. So if you want a virtual assistant that can help you along as you write, whether it be for academics, professional work, applying for an internship, or even a message to your crush, trust me and give Grammarly a shot. Because even if you get rejected, 
at least your grammar would still be on point. Jokes aside, because most of the courses that I take requires me to write a lot of essays, Grammarly did save me a lot of time in terms of proofreading because I'm just too lazy to and I've got better things to do. So if you don't want to sleep at 3 a.m. like I do, or 6 a.m., go to grammarly.com slash kio to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today using the link right here and the link in the description below. I think the sleep schedule is something very personal and it's more important to experiment with your own because we all have different workflows, different work schedules, and you'll find one that works for you. I also find that the length of your sleep matters way more than when you actually go to sleep. So instead of waking up early and not doing anything, it's better to get enough rest and be consistent with when you go to sleep and when you wake up. But as for now, I'll continue to sleep at 3 in the morning and wake up at 11. I have four more essays to hand in before my sophomore year officially ends. Hope you guys can take something out of this video and thanks Grammarly again for being the first official sponsors of this small boy Chanel. As you can see, the sun is rising, which means that it is time for me to go to sleep. As usual, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below or hit me up on Instagram. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Leave a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more content. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.